in this problem we have an infinite series and the question is does it converge or diverge and if it converges to find the sum so this appears to be geometric and so whenever it's geometric we want to find r so what does that mean there is a number r that we can take any term and multiply by that number to get the other one so like what do we multiply let's say uh, this by in order to get this one here well, I think it's going to be negative 2. Right? That's my guess, negative 2. Likewise, if we take negative 2 and multiply it by negative 1 fourth, we're going to get 1 half. If you're not sure, what you can do is just take any term and divide by the previous. Let's do it. Let's take negative 1 fourth and then divide by the 1 before it. And this will give you r, which is called the common ratio. So this is negative 1 fourth. And when you divide by 1 eighth, you really multiply by the reciprocal of 1 eighth, which is 8 over 1. And so we see it is negative 2. So it wasn't necessary, again, to do this, but you can, right? You can always just take any number and divide it by the one before it, and that will give you r. So now we use what's called the geometric series test. The geometric series test, so GST, basically says if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then your series is going to converge. If the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then your series will diverge. So in this case here, um, the absolute value of r is the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2, and that's greater than or equal to 1. So our series diverges and we would say by the and I'm just going to abbreviate it geometric series test that's what people usually call this the geometric series test so that's it so uh, again when you see something like this you, you always want to see you know is it geometric is there a number I can use that I can keep multiplying each term by to get the next one and you can usually tell. If you can't, you can do something like this where you pick any of them and divide by the one before it. So we could have picked one half and divided by negative one fourth and we would have also gotten negative two. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.